Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is John. And I'm Mercedes. And we are the RV Odd, Odd Couple. couple. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, please do so. Click the little bell in the side and you will get notifications whenever we release new material, new videos. Yeah. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about how to prepare the rig to move. When we're getting ready to move from one place to another, um, what we do to get ready for that. The way it works for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to talk a little bit about putting away all your lines, putting away your plumbing, um, and, and getting ready to pull all your slide ins and outs. Because he covers all the outside stuff and I cover all the inside stuff. So this is part of a two part series. And um, John's going to talk about his domain. That's my domain. That's his domain. That's why it's <laughs> successful. He does his stuff, I do my stuff. So I stay inside and he stays outside. Yeah. So we hope you enjoy the video. Yeah. So today is moving day and I'm going to show you what I do to prepare to move the RV to our next location. Through trial and error, I've kind of come up with a sequence that works best for us. Saves power on my battery and I can use to my advantage the fact that there's gonna be an earthquake inside of this. So this is where all my tanks are located, my gray tank, my black tank, I've got a galley tank. This is where my main water comes into from the park. This is where I fill fresh water up in the tanks in case we're boondocking. So typically what I'll do is I'll empty all my tanks, um, including the fresh water tank because we haven't been using it for a week. So I'll start off obviously with the black tank. I'm gonna flush the black tank, empty it down to about 33%. What I'll do is I'll drop a green bag in the toilet before we move it. And by moving it, what that does is it's gonna swish the water all around and kind of clean that tank for us as we go. Second, I'm gonna open the gray tank. Why the gray tank second? The gray tank's gonna kind of clean out the black tank, which is poopy and stuff like that. It cleans out that line, um, the line that I have running from the RV into the waistline of the park that we're in. So always empty the black line first and then you use your other gray tanks and galley tanks to clean that line out for storage. So as you can see, this is where my park service is. This is where my electrical goes and this meter over here. And then down on the ground, you'll see our waste service lines that we connected into. Um, typically electrical is the very last thing I take. I don't want to put any wear and tear on my battery while I'm pulling in all my slides, I'm lifting up the, the auto, auto uh, leveling system. Um, I'm going to use as much park power as I can before I shut down. So disconnecting um, my, um, my power, my 50 amp power is going to be the last thing that I do. So I am now about to detach my wastewater, my black water pipe. It's a four inch pipe that runs from the RV into a service. Typically most parks have services where you just run it from the RV into their waste system. As a matter of fact, when you first arrive um, uh, at your camping location or RV park, that's the first thing you want to locate because what I do is I take a cone and I put it down to know exactly where I need to be when I'm backing it in or pulling it through one of the way or the other. So what I use is I, I ordered a, a bunch of these gloves and I have disinfectant. I, I'm one of those guys that does not like germs and I use probably a full bottle of this every single day. It's in my truck, it's in my car, it's at my house, in my RV. The black pipe, black water, <laughs> the sewer system in my RV, this is my least favorite part, but there is a way to do it to stay clean, not get the crap, crap on you, um, and that's what I do. So this is my black water clean out right here at the park. I detach from the RV, put on your gloves, disconnect the main pipe, empty out, does not smell good, I don't gag as much as I used to, and then I like a clear fitting so that I can see what I'm emptying, and again, always empty your black tanks first when you're getting ready to pack your hoses. Unscrew this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse this down with fresh water before I pack it. I do have its um, a special case for this that is not in the RV. I lock it in so I just don't want my kids getting sick or me getting sick. And then I squirt out the hose as well. All right guys, so I got my hose. I detach it from the park sewer system, also my RV. Now I'm gonna clear out my fittings. And while I'm cleaning these out, talk a little bit about mistakes that we've made with this stuff in the past. Um, 
We only had 10 feet of hose when we started. Now we carry a 10 foot hose and we carry two extensions, uh, 20 feet, which I keep in the back bumper of the RV. There's a, there's a four inch square pipe on the bumper of the RV that actually holds that black pipe. Typically you wanna have all the fittings you need. If something can go wrong, it will go wrong, so always be prepared. Some people will tell you not to carry more than 10. Those are the people that I listen to and I ended up having to get a t another 20 with extensions. Now obviously the extensions are, I don't like them because they're just fittings and the fittings get muck on them. So, but if you, get, if you need the extra room, you need the extra room. Um, the most important thing about black pipe is storage. Where are you gonna keep it? Don't keep it well, obviously with this food or I don't like keeping it in the travel trailer whatsoever. Whether it's in the storage bins or obviously never inside. I store tw uh, 30 feet in my bumper and I've got another 10 foot of hose that I have a special contractor bag for. All right, so we've got our complete walkthrough on the inside, the truck is attached to the fifth wheel. I have not started to pull in my awnings yet or my pop-outs. I'm just gonna go ahead and do a one more walkthrough. That ladder will be the last thing I do. Pulls up into the door and then that bar right there will go across. Make sure there's nothing impeding my pop-outs. I've already gotten the ladder, made sure that there's nothing under the awnings. I'm detached completely from my power. I'm detached from my sewer waste lines. And this rig is ready to go. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is lower this completely on my rig and detach all of my auto levelers. All right guys, so I've gone into the RV, cleaned out the inside, made everything, made sure everything's secure. Walked around the inside, made sure everything's okay for all of my pullouts to pull back in. Nothing's gonna get in the way of those. I've detached from the electric, from the water, from the cable in the park, and I'm ready to close it up. All right guys, that's pretty much it. That's how I take my, that's how I do it. Everybody does it a little differently. Each time that I do it, I learn a little bit more about my RV and the best way, most efficient and safe way to uh, close it up, clean it up, and get it ready to move. The last thing that I do is close these stairs, lock the door, and put a bar in front of it so that there's no way it could possibly come open when I'm driving. And then one more quick walk through before I go, make sure that I've gotten all my tire chocks, all my levelers, and that we haven't left anything behind. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed that video uh, of how I prepare my rig to move. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you'd like to see the other portion of this series, which is Mercedes talking about what she does on the inside of the unit, getting it prepared to move, um, you can, you'll can you see a little card in the top right-hand corner. Just click that, and it will bring you right to the video where Mercedes goes over everything that she did in the inside uh, of our RV before we moved it. So um, please subscribe. Yep. Click the little bell, you'll get notifications, and please feel free to add a comment. Tell us what you do yeah, uh, when absolutely. you're going to move your rig. So, absolutely. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.